the active and passive voice. What are active and passive voice? When the subject of the sentence performs the action, the sentence is in the active voice. For example, the boy takes the book, the child eats the apple. When the subject of the sentence is the receiver of the action, the sentence is in the passive voice. Example, the book is taken by the boy. The apple is eaten by the boy. Take note of three things in the sentence. The subject, the verb and the object of a sentence. John painted the wall. John is a subject, painted is verb and wall is the object. What to do when you want to change an active voice sentence into a passive voice sentence? Well, first make the object into the subject and use the verb in the same tense. Don't change the tense. And the most important thing is the use of the past participle of the main verb. The past participle has to be there. Look in the active sentence. The man plants a tree. Subject is the man. Object is the tree. But in the passive sentence, the object tree becomes a subject. So, a tree is planted by the man. When you have the simple present tense, then use is or are plus the past participle of the verb. See the example. Jim opens the window. The window is opened by Jim. The dogs chase the cats. The cats are chased by the dogs. The tense does not change, but you are using the past participle verb, opened and chased. When you have simple past tense, then use was over and the past participle verb. See, he wrote a story. A story was written by him. The children bought some chocolates some chocolates were bought by the children. Notice carefully that the tense does not change, but you are using the past participle verb. Written and bought are past participle verbs. The present continuous tenses. Now when you have this, you use is being or are being and the past participle verb. Example, Jane is cooking food. Food is being cooked by Jane. Arun is catching the birds. The birds are being caught by Arun. Also note that since we are starting with food, food is being cooked. And the other sentence starting with the birds. So you are using are being caught. When you have the past continuous tense, then here you use was being or were being. And again the past participle verb. See the example. David was picking up five stones. Five stones were being picked up by David. He was writing a story. A story was being written by him. Once again note, five stones being plural, you're using were. A story being singular, you're using was. When you have the present perfect tense, you use, the, you use has been or have been and of course the past participle verb again he has broken the chair the chair has been broken by him they have repaired the windows the windows have been repaired by them the chair being singular you're using has the windows being plural you're using have take note For the past perfect tense, you are using only had been and the past participle verb. I had returned the book. The book had been returned by me. They had washed the clothes. The clothes had been washed by them. The simple future tense is very simple. Only use will be and the past participle verb. He will complete the project. The project will be completed by him. They will deliver the bags. The bags will be delivered by them. In the future perfect tense, you use will have been 
and the past participle verb. Jim will have cooked the food. The food will have been cooked by Jim. Sam will have taken the bike. The bike will have been taken by Sam. Yes, you are using the past participle verb all the time. So get hold and know the past participle verb. Now let's have a practice of changing into the passive voice. Tony throws the paper. The paper is thrown by Tony. Columbus discovered America. America was discovered by Columbus. His teacher was praising him. He was being praised by his teacher. Ram is making a kite. A kite is being made by Ram. My father will write a letter. A letter will be written by my father. Tim has forwarded the email. The email has been forwarded by Tim. In closing, let me remind you, the past participle verb is very important for the passive voice. So learn the past participle verb very nicely.